So finally, after 12 months of development, we have our first proper look at our new T2000 Voyager as we fitted our superstructure. We've also fitted a propulsion system, a pair of France Helis's SD5 surface drives. Now like any propulsion system, they have their pros and cons, but when you're looking for high speeds like the over 50 knots Voyager will do, and efficiency right through the speed range, they're pretty hard to beat. Surface drives are designed to run with only the bottom half of the propeller submerged, and the resulting rooster tail they create is pretty damn cool. Traditionally a disadvantage of surface drives was slow speed operation, as the propellers are then fully submerged, which can make the drive harsh as the props become overloaded. However, we pretty much eliminate this by installing ventilation tubes that draw air down from the surface, allowing the propellers to ventilate and slip. In addition, the MAN V12 engines are fitted with twin disc gearboxes that incorporate their quick shift function, which allows the gearboxes to slip, allowing smooth drive engagement and slow manoeuvring speeds around the marina. We also have twin stern and bow thrusters which make docking very easy. The T2000 Voyager features symmetrical semi-wave piercing hulls that combine an inverted bow with traditional topside flare. The inverted bow provides a very fine waterline entry to cut through waves but also maximises waterline length, while the topside flare keeps the boat dry. The bridge deck is terminated some 3 metres from the bow to eliminate the possibility of waves slamming on it, and the bridge deck to waterline clearance is substantial, being a minimum of 1 metre at the transom. 